Good evening, I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your headlines from Two Works For You. Police say a man is in custody after barricading himself in his car at a restaurant and leading police on a short chase through East, East Tulsa on Tuesday afternoon. A TPD spokesperson says the man was believed to be armed with a shotgun and did not want to go back to jail. The first pursuit ended at the Royal China Buffet near 73rd East Avenue in South Sheridan. It continued to a nearby Quick Trip parking lot. An Oklahoma lawmaker is aiming for more transparency with budgets. Senator Paul Scott of Duncan will present legislation making it illegal for state agencies to hide public money. This comes on the heels of the Department of Health hiding money and laying off hundreds of employees. Scott says he was upset there was no punishment for the department. And the Gilcrease Museum is renovating and expanding. This is all part of the $65 million vision sales tax renewal. The museum says it also received a $10 million private donation. The museum plans to make the layout easier for visitors and better for showing off exhibits. It's expected to expand the museum by 20,000 square feet and give the museum a new look. And cold air is moving in later on this evening into the overnight. Here's a look at our future track. Wind chill by 10 o'clock already moving into the Tulsa area, much colder to the north. And that colder air will continue working its way to the south as we move through the late evening and overnight hours. And by morning, we're going to see wind chills northeast Oklahoma, generally in the single digits. A few spots could actually be below zero for a brief period of time for those wind chills. Actual temperatures tomorrow morning, 9 in Coffeeville, Most areas in northeast Oklahoma in the teens, a little bit warmer down to the south. High temperatures, only 23 in Coffeeville. Warmer though in southeast Oklahoma with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Only about 30 degrees high here in Tulsa, but the cold weather is only going to stick around one day. How about 50 on Thursday, 57 on Friday, and the weekend right now looking great with highs in the 60s and lower 70s. Thank you, Taft, and thank you for catching up with Two Works For You. Get the latest news, weather, and sports on KJRH.com and through our Two Works For You app.